welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So in this episode, we are actually going to see how the search system work with the Algolia. If you are new to this video, please watch the previous videos about the Laravel Scout or how to use Algolia. So we have covered everything like installing the Algolia on our project, creating account on the Algolia, then uh, inserting the data inside the Algolia database. But now let's get how we can create system to get the data from Algolia. I have all these data so let's just do one thing let's delete everything from this data and let's see how we can upload the previous data on our database to our Algolia so it's loading okay so you have to click here clear index if you want to delete this index you can delete this but I'm just now going to clear this so I have to write it clear for security reason okay so it's now clearing everything inside this users index and now you can see it says one index clear and when I go inside this index you can see it says you don't have any record yet so we can even upload JSON file CSV file that means the uh, Excel type file and TSV file but I'm going to show you how we can upload via PHP artisan so here's the simple command you have to copy this command and run it on your project and because we are using the user model not the post model so we'll type here user hit enter and let's see now we can see it says imported 155 records and obviously we have 155 records here now all these records we will find here so let's just refresh this page and when we refresh this page we will see every data we have imported here so everything is here so you can see it's just having many pages 120 110 even 10 it's not actually so let's call 15 yes we have this 155 okay so we have these data now we have to get these data according to the search word search keyword so let's say I have this page called let's say I have a search page and when I obviously I don't have this page so when I go to this page I want a search bar and which will return the results so I will go here on my sublime create a new route called search so it will be search here and it's a get request search simply and similarly I have to create a function in our home controller so home controller is here create a new function so function name is search again search and it will return the view of search so let's close this folder open resources views and inside views let's create search dot blade dot php file and here we are let's say html5 it's not required but let's use it so now create a input which is saying placeholder of search here okay and let's see how this page will look like so go here refresh the page and we have a little box here so I will zoom it out for you so we have this box so let's see how we can import or creating the actual search so we have to now say this thing so we have to pass the keyword in our this eloquent query so after that it will give you everything you want so let's suppose I will copy this 
and I will do one thing instead of doing all these things so I will go to home controller so after that here I will give let's say I will give here simple thing called search key that means the searching key from which we are searching so let's get this search key and similarly we have to go to web.php file and we will pass this as simple search key so what i'm going to do i want to have like this url so when i say ankur slash ankur it will give the list of details about the user which is named ankur so let's go and let's see the home controller yeah so home controller which is app order but it's not an order it's user so instead of using this let's just press ctrl shift and p and say find use and php companion will find it at the top if you're not familiar with php companion go and check out the sublime series link is in the description so yes user at the top and i will say here user and now i will pass compact user okay so i will pass user let's say users because result may be having some uh, more than one values so let's just see if we are getting an error or not so let's go hit refresh or yeah we are not getting any kind of uh, error that means everything is working fine so let's go again and here simply create a for each loop which will loops for users and which will say user and here i will say dollar user but these thing will be inside these curly braces and after every user i want user name first so before doing these things i want to show you what we are getting so just return user here ah it's users <laughs> okay go here and hit enter and you can see we are getting everything which has a and k u r but this has a and k u only but it's getting at the third position that means it's related to this keyword but not exact exact result is this so we are getting this so you can you can use this on your blade file so i'm just giving these things so after that a br tag so that everything will be in a new line so again hit enter and yes we have these data so you can see it's super super easy and you can implement this thing in your project and because this is not a free this is a trial version but it's kind of free with this thing so if you are using this algolia with the uh, icon in your search then you have to choose free version but you can pay for uh, the paid version also okay so we will meet in the next episode with some new and cool advanced feature of laravel so if you like these episodes if you have any questions don't forget to comment don't forget to like subscribe and share these videos on bitfumes on youtube facebook twitter instagram and everywhere everywhere you want and and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye